From the Couch Sports here with another daily video uh, today in sports. Today we got the news that we've been wanting to hear for the last couple weeks. Kawhi Leonard and Danny Green have been traded to the Toronto Raptors. And they both got traded for um, DeMar DeRozan, Jacob Poy Poykel, or however you pronounce his last name. And then um, a, a first round pick in 2019. But... That first round pick is top 20 protected, so unless it's a 10 through 32 pick, the Spurs aren't going to get it, and it's going to turn into two for two second round picks in the, at a future date. Um, my initial thoughts: I, I don't, I don't get why you would trade your best player for Kawhi, especially if Kawhi's on a one year rental, unless you are completely ready to rebuild, which it looks like that's what might be the case. Because it's pretty much common knowledge that Kawhi doesn't he doesn't want to play anywhere besides LA. So he's probably gonna just sign in LA next offseason, whether it's the Clippers or the Lakers. Um so that's pretty much what you get. For the Spurs, I mean, it's not too bad of a deal. Yes, you give up a top five player, but last year you think about it, you made the playoffs without Kawhi. This year you add to Rosen. You're going to be a playoff team again. You are better than your team last year. You got DeRozan. Um, I mean, you did lose Danny Green, which is actually a big piece because he's a perfect three-point three, uh, three point shooter and a defensive player. He's good at as well. But for me, I don't see what the Raptors are doing. They must either be preparing to just try to make one big push this year and then rebuild afterwards or, you know, I don't know. But that's my initial take on it. Um, I can't wait till next offseason. I want I want to see Kawhi play with LeBron, or even go the go to the Clippers. He wants to play in L.A. Let the man play in L.A. Don't trade him to as far away from L.A. as you can get. I mean Toronto, really. He's not even in the U.S. anymore. But um, apart from that, we also had Darrell Rivas retired today. Um, New York Jets uh, cornerback. Uh, one of the best corners I've ever got to pleasure to watch. He, um, his last couple years weren't really good. His last season with the Jets was was pretty bad. And then he got cut and he came back last year, played a few games for the Chiefs. Didn't do, it, didn't do good for the Chiefs either. Um, but let's not forget, it, forget about the Hall of Fame career. I mean, Revis was the best cornerback in football, the best defensive player probably, 2009-2010. He did everything you want out of a corner. There was one week that he locked down Chad Johnson two weeks in a row because they played him week 17 and the the wild card. He locked Chad Johnson down for one catch of eight yards. I mean, that's, that's a Hall of Fame corner right there. A lot of Jets fans kind of mad that um, saying that we shouldn't retire his jersey or that he was a traitor because he went and won a ring in New England. I remember things differently. I remember John Idzik trading Darrell Rivas to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers for the first round pick. Um, and then I remember the Tampa Bay Buccaneers cutting him the next offseason and Idzik having a chance to re-sign Darrell Rivas, who would have been your best corner by far. And he still didn't want to do that. Um, giving Revis the opportunity to make twenty million in a year to play for the Patriots. So yes, he I guess he took the money, but um it's not like we tried to secure him and keep him there for his whole career. So I completely understand uh what Revis did throughout his career. I wanna thank him for all the great years he gave us Jets fans. I mean it's hard being a Jets fan when you lose almost every season. And Revis was able to give us the best years of his career. Um, thanks for tuning in. Have a good one.